Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Monsieur Mokelever, and today we're going to continue our Communal France campaign with my cat in, on my bed named Binky. Anyways, so, um, I guess we went down a Sorelianism, or I guess totalism, uh, for the ideology. Now, one person's like, it's kind of like more like the, our, our timeline Soviet Union ideology, and to kind of roleplay with that, I'm going to say that... I may look at some volunteers to get some XP. But besides that, is that we know that we have a coming war with the Reichspacht. Now, they have Morocco and Africa. They own islands in the north. They own you know, basically all of Germany and a huge chunk of Eastern Europe. We're going to need, as workers, a central figure that's close to tyranny. But not quite close, not that close, not that closely. Someone that could lead us towards victory over the Reichspark, and maybe the Entente as well, and then we will devolve into more syndicalist uh, manners, issues, ideology, or maybe even more of a anarchist type of radical socialist uh, view of the world. Maybe that, that's what we're going to shoot for, because... We're going to need some power to defeat the Germans, because look at those board. Look at that border. Ooh. All right. So let's see. Can I send Maklik anything? I. They're not even close to my ideology. Neither is Tibet or Mongolia. But uh, I would like to get at least a little bit of army XP. Ooh. Combine arms, cavalry attack. But that gives us increased. Chance of blitz and encirclements. So today's Labor Day around the world, May 1st, democratic socialists and syndicalist governments offered celebrate International Workers' Day, Labor Day or May Day. So with this, we get 4% more stability. Great stuff. How, how big are my divisions? 14 width isn't bad. Oh, they actually have light tanks. That's actually not too bad then. I did not realize that they actually had light tanks on these divisions. Let's see. With him, we. Can see if we can maybe ah uh, Maklik Mongolia Mongolia always wins and they do have to bet. Oh, we can send four. Oh, I did not realize that. I would like to take out the tank divisions from the from the cavalry templates. They accept my divisions. Cause I need some XP. I don't care what happens in the war. In all honesty, we just need XP. But I do want to, like I said, get rid of the tank divisions, that just sound, seems a little too... just not as good as it could be. Oh wow, we need a lot of infantry equipment. I would prefer to have pure cavalry divisions, because I've had quite a bit of success with those. 20-40 with divisions of just cavalry, and then separate the, the tanks from that type of division. So, Manuel Carles assumes full control of Argentina. Even though it's honestly not that big. In this timeline, is Argentina still going to become white? Or is Ar Argentinians white? I don't know why. I found that meme earlier. Argentinians are, are white? Aren't white? I don't know. Whatever. All I know is that we need to break the chains for the workers and ensure that we will be successful in our war with the Reichspark. So when we go to, do go to war with the Reichspark, my plan is probably to dismantle the German Empire and liberate, like, Bavaria, re-annex Alsace-Lorraine uh, and Nancy. Nancy's this little one right here. Or Nancy... -sh and then probably break them up to Prussia, maybe Hanover, Bavaria, Schleswig-Holstein, maybe give that to Denmark, something like that, and return some of this territory to uh, Belgium, or Flanders, Wallonia, and recreate Belgium. We move on, let's see, how many things can we put in Mongolia? Two, 60. Well, that should actually give us quite a bit of space to do stuff. Let's reduce you. Down by 50, up to 60. Good, good, good. I doubt we'll get very much air experience, but that's okay. So you need a general. Hopefully, may pick care. Well, that's quite a bit less XP. A river and fort attack. Uh, less XP. Metrics entrenchment. These guys are definitely not. Uh, less recovery rate, but more attack and less experience. Less experience. Less planning, less chance to get wounded. Uh, let's see, more attack or river and fort. They don't have many forts. They don't. They have one river. So let's go with let's see, shield. 
Defense, what is it? Speed, max speed planning, supply consumption. Let's go with her, just because um, she has she takes less supply. And anyone else? Everyone's already pretty much being used, who's good. Um, planning speed, promotion costs. He just gets less. A you know what? We'll make him the field marshal, just because. Uh, he gets 10% less XP gain, which is better than 25% XP not gain. You know what I mean, I think. Probably. Anyways, let's start. Let us start. Right, Bink? Binky is one of my cats in my house, and he is uh, kind of watching, taking a nap. All right. So, Gallows, he's in control of Ecuador. All right. That doesn't concern me as much, I suppose. Maybe he does. Ecuador. Ecuador. This is Ecuador. You're not syndicalist. Or left. God, it's an authoritarian Democrat. War economy and agriculture. So we have a, a hit to our factory output, but we got 3% more population. That 3% population, you can always research things. You can always produce more things. But you cannot always produce more people. That is why I went down that path. Uh, someone did want me to go down, I think, anarchists, but whatever. Maybe next time. Uh, this will be actually really great to get a reduction in supply consumption, which is okay for now, not, not really too useful. But more civilian factories, we need as many civilian factories as possible to continue building up our nation. So let's go ahead and see if we can try to get a little bit of army XP. Oh, basic machine tools, very nice. Oh, no one's there yet. And, you know, honestly, I've been going down dispersed industry a whole lot lately. Uh, I really don't do concentrated industry. You know what? I might go. Let's, we might want to go concentrated industry though, because it's the same effects, except unless you want to change things. Construction, plus construction speed bonus. Oh wait, what? 186 days. That doesn't give you more output, factory output. But can. Oh, that's conversion speed. I thought that's a construction speed. I'm like, Jesus, that's awesome. Uh. This, I think, I want to say Disperse is ultimately better because they have the Factory Bomb Vulnerability buff to you, but I might be wrong about that. We did take the hit with the population, so I'm probably going to go with Concentrated Industry this time, just to make up for it, so. Right. Pretty good. Someday we will have planes in Mongolia. And today's that day. Cool. Go help out even though you... Literally don't have the range for it. Crap. Oh well. Yeah, I really need to take these tanks off because I'm sure the attrition is just... The mud is so bad here. What's the speed like? Oh, one. I don't know if it's the tank that's slowing me down. The max speed's 2.4. Uh, I don't know, they're both 2.4. Oh man. Oh, there's a coup in Siam. And Oswald Mosley, elected chairman of the TUC. Nice. You can both be maximalist together now, please. I really want to take off that tank. Please get me more XP. We're getting a little bit more, which is great. We can move to this province. That would really help us out. <sighs> but at least doing this will help us out. Oh, an Indo-Chinese tragedy. Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. Homeland of the South. Thirteen times I heard the outcry in front of the guillotine of Yen Bai. Thirteen men sentenced to death shouted it one by one, two meters away from climbing the scaffold. Says a French journalist, Louis Roubaud, witnessed the recent brutal German crackdown in Indochina, our former colony, our former colony, and the current bastion of German colonization in the Far East. Now, General Jacques Doriot, a close friend of the late Indochinese revolutionary Ho Chi Minh, spoke for an intervention in Indochina since the end of the Weltkrieg. Thousands of Indochinese students, soldiers, and workers have stayed in France and become former revolutionaries. If we send them back with sufficient arms, they can organize an uprising in Cochin China. Cochin Chan China. Ah, yeah, yeah. This could destabilize the German colonial empire and even serve as a world revolution. I'm I am for that. I am definitely for that. Cool. All right, guys, this is probably not really good. You down? Uh, you go down there. You come down here, you come this direction, you come here. So we can cut off that one division there, even though they might just get more supply. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, well, one of our guys was surrounded, which is not great. 
Yeah, the infrastructure here is so bad. I can't have tanks. The tanks, I think, are just weighing me down way too much. What's the supplies? 0.86 with the weight of 2. Weight is 1. Weight is apparently none. I'm going to come in here. Uh, I guess select one of these guys. And you might as well move that direction. Alright. You come here. Come on. Ah, Union Socialista Christine wins election. Ah, that's very nice. Socialist Republic of Italy is... You're not that person I just said. Who are you? Ooh, construction's done. Nice. We got 1936 tanks. It's still 1936. Let's go get that. Uh, we do could, we could use better artillery. That's only 1936, so we could probably use a better reinforce rate as well, since we are technically already in the field observing conditions. Now, whether I'm going to be successful in this game, I probably will be. Whether I'm probably not going to you know cheat or anything. Probably not. Hopefully not. But you never know. Oh yeah, actually this is a this is actually a terrible decision. You know what? Let's both of us move back out this way. You come here. Just because the the, the supply is so bad. Mongolia knows that uh I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. So because it's only one infrastructure here, I, I literally can't even fight, so I'm gonna come back here, rack up enough army experience. Well, I am training some soldiers. Oh you're done. Cool. Uh, let's see, horses, you guys might as well train. Rack up enough experience, take off the tanks, replace it with a, another cavalry division so the weight isn't just so god dang heavy. Um, you know what, we might as well move you somewhere else then, since so this is all two, and we can be used somewhere else. Maybe that would be okay. I, I sincerely doubt it, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Or going up here would help as well. Modern farms, great. So that's actually good. We just got supply consumption and more civilian factories. Let's go with that. Now we can build even more factories at a time. Poland elects a new king. All right. I wonder who the king is. Christian, uh, Frederick Christian Saski. Ooh, the, I'm going to say Thai or Siamese coup. Oh. Where's that Burma? Burma's always led by an old lady. We'll see what happens. Oh, yep, yeah, you guys left. Uh, it's just having this tank division and trying to fight in Mongolia was a terrible idea. All right, guys, come on. Mm, is there anywhere else we could be better used? Because even up here is better than over here. Maybe we could just take that province out. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. Even though it is in the mountains, god dang it. This is not easy. Ah, oh, but Tibet is doing a good job. Oh, Deutsch Ost Asian declared war on them? Ooh, we could probably send some volunteers then. How many volunteers can I send? Wow. Um, I'm probably gonna send a horse division down that way. And honestly, I'm gonna use Nestor. He seems like a pretty good general to use. And we will immediately send them supplies for division to use. Immediately, because I need some of that XP as well. Until China declares independence, who would win? German Empire or some Vietnamese peasants? Oh, I see what you did there. Wow, I actually had quite a few divisions. The first is gorgeous international art festival. You get two stability for uh, hosting it. Include very famous works, uh, syndicalist realist paintings commissioned by the French government, as well as the British, Russian, and American paintings, and a mural painted by Diego Rivera. I had a last into the weekend, and it's attracted worldwide attention. Ah, yes. Very nice. A very stable, stable government. Right. You know what? Send one of you guys down there, one of you guys over here. And how much can I send? 40? Alright. Well, let's see what we can do. And obviously we don't need that many. Awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Mm. 
40. Is, oh, I think it was, it was 40, right? Yeah, 40. You come down here, and you hop out in Saigon. Oh, at least we're getting attacked up here. Maybe it's a good idea to stay up there. And we are now... Oh, you know, let's set that to high. Set you to high as well. Field Marshal. Doesn't really matter. Actually, it might not be good to give him a Field Marshal because we don't really get any very many benefits. We do need uh, Nestor. Oh, yeah. He's already coming. Cool. So, uh, where's the best spot? We need some XP. Odds are we should probably come up here and take that province. Something easy, something basic to do. And we should be getting quite a bit of air XP once our planes come down here. Wow. We are missing tanks and infantry equipment. Oh, God, look at that. It's so bad. Well, should, oh, we already have two air XP. Come on, army XP. Wow. I always get so much air XP generally from uh, all these wars. Let's see. We, we are going to need you, need to use you in very appropriately. So they can get attacked, they can attack, but to really help the Indo Chinese and then milk the XP later, let's just immediately surround them. Yep, yep, but we found somebody to. Uh, that's defending. You know what? You know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. We'll help stretch their lines a little bit more thinly. Yeah, but we are still getting more manpower, which is great. Get to five and a half. Awesome. So that was done. I want you to surround this cavalry division. And then we will cut them off right here. Oh. That might not last very long. Oh, a war industry. Very good. And mass production. We could honestly use more infantry equipment right now. So, but at least these soldiers are all starving for supplies. How's this coming up here? Ooh. You know what? You guys can just kind of hold. Come on, give me more XP from exercises daily, huh? Come on. I wonder how big these militia divisions are. 10 to 12. Probably 4 with each. Or not 4 with, but 4 battalions each. 3 divisions? Are those... They're just German. Ost-Asian. So they're not, they're not actual, like, really German soldiers. They're just... German soldiers. Oh. oh that's good. Come on. Well, we already have 17 army air experience. Awesome. Wow, this is really bad. All this attrition is just eating me up. Holy crap. This was probably a mistake to send to Mongolia. I did not realize they had light tanks on them. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to stop that battle. Ah, John N. Garner elected President of the United States. I wonder how the Civil War is going to go, if it fires at all. I hope it fires. Great Depression. Good. Please, give me more XP. Please. I need it. it. Should be. How big is that marine division? Six to eight. Ah, oh, that makes kind. Of, oh, they have. Oh, they have a port. Oh, we're about to get cut off. We got way. Let's see. I'm gonna add you to here, to the main line. For now, add them to the main line. That'll be fine with me. Uh, you guys are done. You guys, good. Yeah, you guys could train. Actually, you should, you really need to stop attacking. Uh, let's see, that could be really good to cut these guys all off. Uh, that's such a risk, though. Because if they break through here, ooh, elections in Italy, alright. Yeah, that's an, actually an extreme risk. If we get cut off, we're doomed, pretty much. Oop, uh-oh. Come on. Oh, they're coming through. Don't let them break through, though. 
radios done. We have mechanical computing, very nice. And a couple, oh, we got a lot of things here. Still 1936, we shouldn't do that stuff. We probably could use better fighters. Uh, probably, we might as well go for better artillery already. What's a land option? We didn't even choose a land option yet. No wonder we're not doing so well. Uh, let's take a quick look at our focuses. Road to war. The communal army. So obviously I've got to go down this path because we already chose. We're going to be Sorelian for the most part. And it doesn't really matter what tap we go down. All right. Good to know. So. We are workers. Superior firepower says a doctrine focuses on shells, not men at the enemy. Our manpower is precious. Bullets are cheap. We focus on speed and maneuver to cut off or and disorganize enemy forces for mobile warfare. Grand battle plan. Preparation, planning and preparation before engaging in enemy battle or mass assault. Well, seeing as we don't have a huge population to work with yet, we could go mass assault. But I really like superior firepower. I'm probably going to do that one just because our manpower is precious and bullets are cheap. And we'll make some tanks anyways. Let's go with that. We could use more attack. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, shit. And one more. Support companies might be good. Uh, engineering. Radar stations are very valuable, actually. Very, very valuable. We'll do that one first. We can wait on radar. Come on, guys. How's this going up here? How am I starving? Starving very well. Come on, we're so close. Only almost 0.5 away from achieving true, true goodness. Uh, we're probably getting. We probably don't have air superiority, do we? Oh, well, it's mixed. You know what? We should boost it. Do we own this? No, we don't. Oh, uh, that's their base. Okay, whatever. So we could take out this section. That'd be awesome. It's a bad idea to attack this way. But it gives them more XP and make them start running out of supplies. Nice. Take as much territory as possible. Let's see, I do not want to fight across a river, but this might help distract them. Come on. Oh, mass production. Nice, we can make more guns. Mission to them. The communal army might be good to take. The working woman. More output and a more fruitful population. Let's see. Army might be good. The road to war might be good. Inefficient intelligence. Better research times could help. Infrastructure construction speed. This gives us more two more civilian factories. Uh, that might be good, really good to take. Military build up. Oh, that's really good. Ooh, construction bonus. Let's see. Wow, more stability, war support, and political power. Reinforce rate and more population. And an extra research slot. I really like this. Better research times. And a research slot. Yeah. Worker science is best science. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's get rid of these. I think it's just this one, yeah. Replace you with cavalry. Just put in cavalry. Take out the tanks. Please, for the love of God, they weigh us down. Especially when fighting in Asia. Just We, we can e more easily supply everyone with just guns. Oh, we've linked up with the uh, Tibetans. Nice. Do we have another... I doubt we have another airbase here. Awesome. And we'll continue to increase the size of our cavalry divisions. Maybe our normal infantry divisions as well going into the future. So you have got no experience yet, which makes sense. Three divisions. We might be able to get rid of three divisions here and then have to redo all the non-throng area. But... The, our ally, or not our ally, but the person we sent volunteers to, Indochina, is actually spreading out pretty nicely. Awesome. Now, do they get supplies? They should be completely surrounded. Yeah, they've got low supply, but it doesn't have an encirclement type of deal. Nice. Did we just take them out? I think we did. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, wait, what happened? Did they capitulate? They capitulated! Hey, we did something! And as we can probably add them to our alliance soon. They have peace with Deutsch Ostasian. They are radical socialists, syndicalists, totalists. 
the Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds, we get army experience, great, and more political power. Ah, uh, this is good. This is very good. We're still getting more population every day. I love it. Um, I do need to probably put on artillery would be good. It gives it a little more push, a little more oomph. But I do need some support com supply companies. That's really what I could use very well, very effectively at the moment. Um, yeah, at this point, come over here, cut these people off. My god, you guys are slow. Alright, the Indo-Chinese Revolt succeeds. It's a great day for Syndicalism and the Third International, even though they're technically not part of our country yet. Still building more stuff. Building, trying to build a carrier. Smart thing to do. And we have the division back from Normandy. Uh, in Normandy. Oh, you guys are still training. Now you guys could probably stop. For now, just stop for now. Uh, let's see, you, we're going to add you back to, the, I think, this group. Yeah. Field Marshal Nestor. Good. So that's really good. Hopefully we can add him to our alliance in the future. Now this, this should go, this should go pretty easily. Let's go ahead and attack. Oh, and the American Second, Second American Civil War has fired. Great. And, of course, as a syndicalist nation... Or syndicalist based. We will help them. Somehow. Get rid of entry equipment. Lose our manpower. Yeah. Help them out. Oh, I definitely want to send them supplies though. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh wait, not lend these. Tears. Four. I can send four. Awesome. You know what? I'm just gonna send you two out. And send this guy to the CSA. So, you know, Garner, I thought he might be able to not have the American Civil War. Oh well. And I am specifically giving him my cavalry to move quickly through the United States because there's a lot of territory. Let's see. Planes. My planes. Uh, actually, no. I don't want you. I want you. It's a few too many. You know, why don't we just combine them? And then, because we only have 80... Oh, that's not combined button. That's combined button, actually. Alright, 75. Put them in the trash. And increase you by 5. Cool. American Union State has formed. And they've declared war. Alright, how big a... Amer Second American Civil War has spawned. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to help out the CSA so much that if Canada gets involved, uh, I can save them. I, I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. So, oh, the five-year anniversary of this 1932 Geneva strike. So five years ago today, the workers of Geneva began a major industrial action demanding social and economic reforms which threatened to spread to the rest of French-speaking Western Switzerland known as Romandie. Fearful of potential revolutionary influence by the Commune of France, the central government in Bern reacted swiftly by sending in the Federal Army to break the strike. In the ensuing violence, 13 were killed and over 100 were injured in Geneva. This has left a bitter divide between the Romandie and Bern, which over the subsequent years has failed to heal. Encouraged by recent developments in France, the radical left has begun to agitate once more as, and is on planning on sending socialist candidates in upcoming local elections. However, the Social Democrats, traditionally very strong in Romandie, have devised a reform package in conjunction with the trade unions, the Peace of Work Agreement, which involves a number of policies regarding wage increases, shift times, and so on. One of the key points is to put an end to the massive lockouts in which manufacturers, which have taken place recently. The Social Democratic candidates are relying on this program to be re-elected and hopefully defuse the standoff between the radical left and the conservative-dominated federal government and Baron. Cool. That didn't give us anything. But gave us, I guess, a little insight into what's going on. And there comes the Pacific states. Cool. Romandie, if I could add, like, if I could annex Romandie, that'd be cool. Please don't get immediately reabsorbed by... The United States, and of course Canada is getting involved. And they're probably going to release the puppet, make the game lag, of New England. Does he orders? Oh, oh, that's not good. The Kingdom of Poland has joined the Reichs Pact. 
And there comes New England, followed by my forces arriving in or close to Washington, D.C. Our goal is to quickly try to kill this division off and then assume control of Washington, D.C. Go ahead immediately. They should be cut off. Yeah, they're cut off. Every division we can destroy, the better. And how's this going over here? I've completely ignored this at this point. Because the supply situation is so bad, so incredibly bad, that I I don't think I can actually keep fighting here. That's quite sad. Quite, quite sad. Everyone is starving for supplies at this point. Uh, the capital's over here, so we might as well take everyone else out on the left. Don't think it's going to happen, though, but that's just me. First victory in the Second American Civil War. Thank you. Let's see. We shall help this group out if they cannot do it themselves. And... Ooh, socialist education. I love it. I love education. Ooh, more stability. Ooh, more population. Reinforce rate goes up. Stability, war support, and political power. We could totally use that right now. Alright. I know we are approaching... Actually, we're past the time limit for me to move on, but whatever. Let us take out this American Federa Federal Division and then focus on Washington. If we could take Washington, that would be a great victory for us. Oh, and the Mysore State declared war on the Princely Federation. Ooh, this would be a good time for a month. the commune, the Indian commune, to strike the uh, other group. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Immediately. Ooh, our Republic declared in Serbia. All right. Immediately go into the mountains of Virginia. Yeah, so that's Virginia, because we're currently in Maryland. American Union State is approaching here. We're going to cut off Washington and force them to get supplies through the water. And killing off all the other divisions around here. Do we have the airport here? I hope so. hope we have the airport. Oh, the Russians are here. Ooh, the Russian Republic, eh? Russia, what are you up to? Oh, they're Bolsheviks. What? <sighs> Bukharin. Holy crap. This might be a really good uh, campaign. They have a Soviet threat. And uh, beginning of stabilization. Continue the modernization. Wait, which one is this? Maybe they didn't choose one yet. Ooh, that would be... The Fall of Washington. Great. Uh, they chose... Ah, Denikin's plan. Awesome. Syndicalism spreads to the Philippines. Nice. Even though you're a pretty small nation, you do have quite a bit of manpower. You're like 12 years old, it looks like. They do have quite a bit of manpower, these uh, little Asian nations. Alright, let's finish this little pocket up and then we'll call it an episode. So, this is looking like it could be very, very successful. The violence and occupied Haute Sauve? Uh, let's see. Violent oppression of syndicalist freedom fighters in Switzerland who are attempting to organize a referendum. The Swiss government has sent a military force to suppress a vote, and but violence has broken out over the legality of the referendum. That is not good. Okay, let's get this little pocket down here. Good. Uh, we can probably immediately go this way as well. Awesome. And take this... Is this a port? No, it looks like it, though. Awesome. Now we are we have, we have controlled Washington, D.C. Now, the American Union State has been able to come up here, so we're going to fix that. Wow. Like, by doing something like that. Do that. And next time, we'll be fighting a crap ton of... Uh-oh. Southerners. So, thanks to the ill-advised measures taken by Swiss authorities to put an end to their union's demand for better wages and legal protection of labor rights, and their public display of violence against our people in Haute Savoy, we have enough political capital to begin efforts to support syndicalist movements in the nation and attempt to take the region. It's a great opportunity for the coming of France to forego forge stronger ties with these syndicalist agitators and pro-French syndicalists could assist us in our goal of recovering the region. Haute Savoy. However, pro-German and pro-Austrian conservatives will probably try to topple these workers' elected representatives by all means available, including blue force. Uh, we're gonna do it. And if this proves disastrous, good lord, I don't know what's gonna happen. So we're gonna end it here. So guys, 
What have we done? We have mistakenly sent soldiers to Mongolia. Where our guys are literally starving. Oh, actually, we got enough time to do this. Uh, but I, I do want to add in... Uh, I don't have to support companies to do this instead. Whatever. Which was a mistake. We did help Deutsch Ostasien lose uh, the Indo-Chinese Union, which will be a great ally if we can get them in our faction. They're apathetic, unfortunately, in guerrilla tradition. And the second American Civil War has started. And we are helping out as best we can the combined syndicates of America. And they're probably going to lose because most of the time when I play this game, this mod of Kaiser Reich, Canada gets way too involved with the entire Entente, which is kind of broken. Who's this? Oh, we use the Union. I thought you were spent. Oh, we want Central America to help us out. And the last thing we discovered is uh, the Russian Republic is looking a little... Uh, <coughs> Cynicals, and they're helping out the CSA, which is freaking awesome. So, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, sub if you haven't done so already. I, I've been noticing my subs been going up slowly, which is pretty awesome, pretty cool, pretty great. I love it. And uh, I hope I see you tomorrow and when we can continue this campaign. Thank you for watching.